Hey guys! Now, two months ago, I have uploaded a video on YouTube where I was talking about various styles and building techniques in Theotown that I like and some of them that I dislike. There were some road techniques, there were some building techniques, there were some plugins. And uh, the video got 12,000 views, which is more than all of my other videos combined, I guess. I haven't, d did, I haven't done the math. math. So, yeah, that's my guess. Basically, it got a ton of views, which it's, is good. I kind of spread the message. But it got a lot of dislikes, which, uh, again, I have started a heated argument. And uh, by this video, I want to cool the argument and uh, neutralize it by building various different styles and cities on a world map of on a world map and i'll be building european cities now you might be asking potato why are you building european cities on a world map and that's because i'll be making an entire world where i'll be building various um uh, styles and cities but now I'm just making Europe and uh, the next part will be Asia and uh, if you're still waiting for Batavia to be built, the next part, don't worry, it will be soon. So don't panic. I haven't abandoned that series. So yeah, there isn't much to explain. I'll be going around the earth and uh, building Batavia at the same time. But not in the same video. Yeah. It, just understand me that. So yeah. Uh, there isn't much explaining to do. So yeah. Let's get into the video. And enjoy it. Now guys. As you can see. We are located in Europe. You can see the world map here. And uh, I couldn't fit some buildings. Here. So. They're just floating in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, yeah, so let's start with England. Now I have been in, I have been building like a London style, so there's not much like countryside cities. They're just cities. I have took inspiration from the capital. And uh, sorry, there's just some noises here. I live like near an industrial part of my town, so sorry for that. And uh, yeah, so back to Field Town, you can see some modern buildings. That's because uh, they were built in the, like uh, in the early two thousands and like uh, um, like twenty years ago, not even twenty years ago. And uh, you can see some ch churches. You can see some of these uh, ads, these capitalistic ads like Coca Cola. You can see the British flag, you can see some big roads because England has got big roads, I guess. Yeah, I've just took inspiration from Google Maps, so don't judge me, please. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this building, I think it's like a modern plugin, so if you just type modern, I guess that it will be enough. Now uh, there's a church, so if you just type church into the plugin store or in the Theo Town forum, I think that you can find it. I think that it's Rock Fort who made it. I don't know, I don't have a clue. And uh, this is like an American building, so if you just type American buildings, I think that it will just pop. I think that it will. You just it will just find it. So the next one is. Uh, is Belgium and uh, you can see some buildings residential mostly yeah I don't know why I don't know why I clicked on that building yeah so uh, you can see the European flag obviously because uh, there are like a lot of uh, important buildings of the European Union in Brussels or just in Belgium and uh, that is the Belgian flag. You can see like a style, like a Belgian style. You go like you have these buildings, 
on backed buildings in the centre. Now, I have wanted to include brussellization, which is uh, a term, and it describes, like, <clears throat> that they have demolished a lot of the historical center and they've built like modern buildings in it and uh that's why they started calling it brussellization because it happens in because it happened in brussels but it happened in much much more cities and uh i just don't want to get into something different so here's just brussels and uh a lot of these buildings are actually from rock fort and uh he's a very very great plugin creator and uh, I absolutely love his work he's like the most talented plugin designer on the platform but I'm not just saying that like uh, that rock fort is the best just saying that I just like his work so yeah these are the French building pack and uh, you might have seen uh, the French let's just search French here you go might have seen this but you might have not like read this text and it says around 95 french based residential buildings which is uh, when i downloaded it uh, i basically hit the jackpot so that's great i rate it i rate it 11 out of 10 because it just completely changed my style and it helped me build Batavia because I built out of these buildings. So the next city is France, and uh, because I know for a fact that Rock Fort is from France, because of the post that he has posted in 2019 on the Theo Town forum, saying that something happened in Normandy, like a disaster. And uh, that he lives in France, yeah, because Normandy is in France, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that something just happened, that the government, something of the government. Yeah, I just don't want to get into politics when <laughs> we are in Theo Town. So, yeah, you can see these buildings that I've been talking about in the video that I've posted two months ago. And uh, I'm actually fine with these buildings, but the here's the problem. France is made out of triangles. If you look at the map of France, you cannot see squares. You can see only triangles, which is a bit of a problem because Theo Town is made out of pixels, which aren't really not pixels, but you cannot really do triangles with them. So, yeah, it just uh, this is the one thing that I don't like, but. These buildings are great, I love them, and uh, I would use these bigger buildings for bigger projects, like bigger cities, and uh, these French smaller buildings I would use, like, if you wouldn't build that big of a city. I'm not saying that Potato is going to be small, no, but, yeah, I'm just building out of these buildings because I just like them, and you can do, like, I think, better looking streets with them, and, uh... I have included the Louvre. No, it doesn't come with the Louvre building. That a lot of people are asking when somebody, when a plugin creator posts a picture and that is the Louvre building. People go insane asking where did the where to download the building. And uh it's on the Theo Town forum, so but I have run into a bit of a problem because um, I cannot download from the forum. I don't know how. I tried it. I know. I'm no good with these things. But uh, if you could just put them in the Theo Town in the plugin store, it would be much, much easier for me. Like uh, the Breakwater plugin. Or just these plugins that you can only find on the. Uh, the forum it will be okay I could pay like some diamonds I, I I would even be able to pay diamonds for them because some of the plugins are really good so that's just what I wanted to say so I have included the Louvre I have included the 
European Union flag with the French flag, obviously, because France is in the European Union, so I've included the European Union flag. And you can see some gardens, because yeah, there's some gardens in France. But anyway, let's go to Spain. And uh, you can see a lot of these um, yellow and uh, orange buildings. You can see all the red roofs. And, uh, yeah, that's just what I thought that Spain looks like, what it looks like. And, uh, if you ask what this statue is, it's a DSA decoration that is already in the game. And you could find it in the decorations, surprisingly. <laughs> Here, got it. You can build it more than one time, so that's great. And it's great for decoration, so I would recommend it if you are like, building something and you need, need a statue. I would just recommend it. Now, these buildings are the historical centre. The historical centre building pack. Yeah. I think that it is like this. And, uh, yeah. I just like it. I just like these buildings. And uh, I like to use them in uh, certain styles. I just don't slap them anywhere because they're just like, they just fit in a certain style. So that's just one thing. Second thing is, uh, they are used in Mexican cities. And Mexico has been a Spanish colony. So the Spanish has, have designed the city, I guess. So... They're kind of Spanish, these buildings. So I use them. And as you can see, you can see the European Union flag with the Spanish flag, obviously. You can see the DSA decoration. You can see some people. And, uh, yeah, that's about it that I want to say on this, uh, on the Spain city. Now, let's move on to Italy. So you can see the Panthenon, Rome, Italy. And, uh... You can see some ancient landmarks, and uh, as I said, you can see the buildings. This kind of doesn't fit in the theme, but just ignore it. I don't have buildings to build it to build with much, much building, much buildings to build with. So just ignore them. <laughs> so you can see these uh, uh, these yellow and orange buildings. You can see the. You can uh, see the Italian flag and the uh, European Union flag, and uh, I have built a, uh, I have built a canal or a river. I didn't have much space to build with, so I just built like a canal. And uh, near the rivers, they've got like a lot of trees. When I was looking at the map of Rome, so I just built like a lot of trees next to it. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for Rome, not Rome, but Italy, and uh, this is the Panthenon, you can find it in the plugin store, oh, I think that you can also find it on the forum, so yeah, that's about it, now let's move on to Turkey, so there isn't a European Union flag, because Turkey isn't in the European Union, and so uh, Turkey builds in a certain style and it goes up the hill. You, you can see uh, I have taken inspiration from from uh, Istanbul or you can call it Constantinople. And uh, you can see that I've used a lot of these uh, yellow and or orange buildings. You can see the Turkish flags, obviously. You can see like a... Water tower, it supplies the city with water. It is kind of pointless, but it looks like a tower that is in uh, in uh, Istanbul. So I just wanted to use it. You know, it looks better, I guess, with it. I don't know. You can look, you can have like a park here. And I didn't build a park. It just comes with um, it just comes with grass. So. I couldn't do nothing with it. So that's basically it for 
Turkey. I just did a mix of these buildings that just fit in these yellow and orange buildings. Just the subtropical region of Europe just looks more orange and yellow. I'm not saying that I cannot find these colours in the more northern European cities, but just saying. It's not a rule. So, uh, next up is um, Hungary. Now, I haven't built a European Union flag, because I don't know where to put it. And, uh, you yeah, know, I just like the Hungarian flag, just being there alone, I don't know why. <laughs> now, uh, there are a lot of government buildings, and these, like, main buildings in uh, Budapest. Uh, there's a lot... I know that is just a capital. There could be there are more cities, but yeah, I just take inspiration from the capitals. So I've just built like a theater or something. I don't know what that is. What that building like is? Uh, it is uh, the train, the Turkish train station plugin. You can like build your own buildings. I have used it in many more videos, in much much more videos. And uh, as you can see here, the French buildings from again rock fort rock fort yeah. Uh, yeah i think that uh, it, his name rock fort yeah he is so that's it you can see these hedges just type hedge i guess <laughs> i don't know i just found it so that's about it for hungary so the next city is uh czechia which is my home country and uh, you can see I built like a square you've got lots of these tiny buildings which are beautiful I like them these are the French buildings but I try to use like uh, buildings that would fit into the style you can see some bigger buildings here and you can see like uh, a gate to the town because they used to be like uh, walls next to like uh surrounding the city so uh and uh when the renaissance came i think renaissance they started demolishing these uh walls and building buildings in them so this happened or it can also be like a pathway or something between the two buildings so that's kind of cool it could be like a bridge between the two buildings so that's kind of cool yeah I've got the Czech flags. You can find these flags on the waving flags plugin. There are some parks. There's like a park here. There is uh, a parking spot here. And uh, it, I just like it because you've got like parking spots in the city square because you've got like all these shops. So that's about it's what I want to say. I've used the, these French buildings again. I use them a lot. So yeah, that, that's it for the Czechia. For Czechia. So next up is Germany. So as you might know, Germany has been uh, has been united in 1990. But before that, Germany has been separated. And it has been separated on the... Uh, I don't know what the date is correctly, but on the year 1945, at the end of World War Two, I don't want to talk about World War Two. I don't want to get demonetized for it. And uh, just a lot of bad things happened, and so the so Ru the Russians or the Soviet Union and America have uh, just. Uh, they had uh, their own part of Germany. So they created one part that was communist and one part that was well, that was democratic or capitalist, or how do you want to call it. And uh, so we get Berlin, all Germany. It's like this weird mixture of uh, brutalistic architecture with modernistic, like modernistic buildings. And with uh, historical ones, 
I didn't include the if the European Union flag. I don't know why, but Germany plays a huge role in the European Union. So yeah, uh, I've built like modern buildings and historical ones. Again, these are all. All of them are the French buildings from Rock Fort. Man, I really like that guy. <laughs> I really used a lot of his buildings. So, yeah, you, you can see, like, a lot of parks. You can see, like, big roads in Germany. I think that that's where the highway originated from. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's about it for Germany. Now, let's go to the Nordic states. So... I have been looking at Google Maps, and uh, when you are in the Nordic states, you can see like these big buildings, these blocks, being smushed with like modern buildings. So you can see these buildings, modern, you can see like some taller buildings, like skyscrapers, but they're not like skyscrapers, but they're like more like modern buildings, taller buildings. And you can see like churches, you can see the European Union flag. Um, you can see the dock because, yeah, there are docks in Stockholm. I have been looking in Stockholm. So that's about it. Yeah, there's the Swedish flag. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for Sweden. Let's go to Norway. Now, Norway is not that, not, uh, it's not the same, it's not like uh, Sweden. Because you've got these modern buildings next to these historical ones. So that created like a bit of a mix, but they're like darker, the modern ones. They're not like, the they are not like just like these modern buildings, but they're just like dark. So I've used these dark buildings, the, these uh, like dark, darker modern buildings. And uh, I have used some of these French buildings because they look a bit French. I don't know, just more French buildings. I have used the Norwegian flag. I don't think that, in the, they, that they are in the European Union. Again, they've got some docks. I don't want to build really much, so I just put a luxurious yacht there. So, yeah, that's about it for Norway. There are, like, modern buildings, so you just type modern buildings. This is, like, you can just type Oslo or Norway. You can find this building. And, uh, yeah, so now our last city is uh, in Russia. I have forgotten to build... Russian flags, which I guess that I would find somewhere here. I just because uh, it's like the alphabet, so it not be that hard to find. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So, you can just build some Russian flags here. Yeah, right now, just build them. And, uh, as you might know, Russia used to be the Soviet Union. That, oh, what, what is the ship doing here? I don't have a clue what the ship is doing, but I'll just destroy it. <laughs> yeah. So, back to Russia. Russia used to be the Soviet Union, which tried experimenting with architecture, but and the architect couldn't go to the west and like see the buildings like an inspiration so they had to like stick to their own ideas which mostly created these compact buildings which aren't that nice and uh, the same was uh, in the eastern bloc they demolished these uh, historical buildings and built these modern not so modern ones that we now calls call panilkas. They're just ugly buildings that they tried painting. They tried painting them colourfully, but it didn't work, and it was just a distraction. <laughs> I think that it just serves as a distraction 
from the inevitable ugliness. I think the inevitable ugliness of the buildings. Yeah, nobody can deny that. So, you can just see some brutalistic buildings. They call them brutalistic. Yeah, I think that they are called brutalistic. And uh, you can see some of these blocks. I have been inspired by St. Petersburg. And uh, there are, like, canals there. So, I just built, like, a canal. And uh, it's not my last city. I have forgot. I have forgot. Romania. So, now, Romania is an interesting one. I have, uh, I have, uh, had an, uh, Bucharest was my inspiration. Now, Romania is an interesting country. It is in the Eastern Bloc, but it is classified as a Roman nation. A Romanic, I don't know. And, uh, it loved France. Well, loved its architecture. So... You can see like these French buildings in the middle of Eastern Europe. You can see them like in a lot of places, but they just are like copycats a bit. And uh, no wonder that they call it the Paris of the Balkans. I haven't came up with that now. They really call it like that. Uh, I have heard it in a YouTube video. So, sorry if I if I am mistaken. So it basically is like if a Ukrainian just uh, I know that I'm gonna get a lot of hate from that, but if a Ukrainian just did Control C and Control V and just copied all of the French buildings and just pasted them in a country like Ukraine, and boom, you've got. Wait a second, and boom, you've got Romania. And uh, that's about it. That's about it for now. You can see, oh, you can see, because it's Eastern Europe, so you can see these banyokas, or how they call them. So, yeah, that's about it for Europe. Don't worry, Potatia is coming up soon. And uh, as you might know, as you might know, as you might have seen, I have started building these uh, blocks and because of the styles that are in Asia. So I'll be going to Asia next. Oh, and I have to build Japan because it didn't load Japan. And uh, you may be asking, how did you did the map of Europe? Not did, but do. And... Uh, you might know, as it being like, you might try to build it, or you might try to download it and paste it. But I've got a much, much simpler solution. Now, let's say that you want to go, you want to create something, like a new region. So you just go here. You just go to photos. You just take a photo, like, a picture of Prague. Come on! Why don't, doesn't it load? Thank God. It loaded. And now you can see the picture of Prague. And, uh, I have did the same with Batatia. I have called it Prague because I've just copied Prague. Prague map. And uh, I don't know why, but it just doesn't. The rivers are just dry. So I had to paint them. Uh, I had to paint them. I had to paint them black. So it will, uh, it would turn out to be water. So that turned out as a success. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, there's a uh, lot of action happening now. Uh, sorry. It's a bit of a problem, sorry. And, uh, yeah, I hope that I covered it all, that you liked the video. And, uh, yeah, see you at the new part of Potatia. Goodbye.